2021 Hyundai Sonata N-Line Review But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Pop Quiz what has nearly 300 horsepower, excellent handling, a smooth ride, distinctive styling, and a spacious cabin with seating for five? The Audi A4 S-Line or Alfa Romeo Giulia would qualify, until limiting your pick to vehicles costing less than $35,000. At that price point, no vehicle fits the brief better than the 2021 Hyundai Sonata N-Line. The Sonata N-Line faces off against the Toyota Camry TRD, Honda Accord 2.0 T Sport, and mechanically identical Kia K5 GT, but savvy shoppers ought to compare it with entry-level luxury cars, like the Acura TLX, Audi A4, and BMW 330i, too. With a long list of go-fast goodies, like a turbocharged 2.5-liter inline 4 with 290 horses and 311 pound-feet, 27 miles per gallon combined, and nearly every luxury feature in Hyundai's arsenal, the Sonata N-Line plays the numbers game very well. But it also excels in qualitative measures, with its polished handling, interesting design, and drive faster personality impressing everyone on board. Styling is subjective, but I absolutely love the Hyundai Sonata's basic shape. The sloping front end, oval side window opening, and bold tail lights remind me of the car I learned to drive in, a 1996 Ford Taurus, which endears me to the Korean sedan instantly. But the Sonata is much more avant-garde than that oddly proportioned jellybean, its front end boasting check-shaped headlights, LED signature lighting that fades into an unusual chrome hood accent, and massive grille openings and aero ducts sporting N-Line signature chevron accents. The Sonata's modern, aggressive side profile, gotta love that arching shoulder line, has been begging for more attractive rolling stock since it debuted for 2020, and the N-Line obliges. Look at the 19-inch wheels closely and you'll see a machine-finished swirling pattern interwoven with some gloss black Y-spoke mesh, a design that's undeniably intricate, if also a bit fussy. Kinky side skirts, a subtle trunk spoiler, and N-specific exhaust outlets housed in a gloss black diffuser round out the exterior changes, turning the already individualistic Sonata into an exuberant sport sedan. Inside, the Sonata N-Line gets the same 10.3-inch center touchscreen and 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster as the limited model. Unique to the sporty trim are a pair of supportive, well-bolstered front bucket seats and a rear bench wearing genuine Nappa leather with Dinamica inserts. Hyundai says the interior is black, but to my plebeian eyes, it looks like a richer, more interesting dark gray. Whatever the case may be, the seats, armrests, and steering wheel get subtle red accent stitching, helping underscore the car's zesty intentions. If any part of the Sonata N-Line could be called average, it's the cabin's interior materials. The upmarket leather and suede microfiber upholstery contrast with a fair amount of hard plastic on the center console, brushing up against the driver and front passenger's knees during hard cornering and long highway stretches. The front and rear door panel armrests are comfortable, but the aft windowsills are hard, reflecting cost-cutting that feels a bit downmarket. And the shiny black infotainment surround and shift selector trim attract fingerprints like bees to honey, feeling a bit flimsy in the process. The Sonata N-Line's front row passengers get the star treatment, with those trim-specific buckets offering the best balance of long-haul comfort and twisty road support of anything in the Hyundai lineup.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.